So following on from the success of the new Mamad locomotive Mark 1 and 2, Mamad have now introduced the Brunel vertical boiler locomotive, which is their first uh, working dual gauge locomotive and also their first geared locomotive as well. The packaging includes uh, two simple U-shaped polystyrene blocks which hold the locomotive inside the box and the accessories are supplied uh, inside a bubble wrap. It's supplied with operating instructions for the locomotive, the wheel gauge conversion instructions and the normal Mammod uh, literature. The accessories supplied include lubricating oil, steam compound oil, uh, EN417 cartridge adapter and a funnel. The underneath of the chassis showing you the mainly riveted construction. The cutout uh, for the airspace for the ceramic gas burner and the mounting point for that. The intermediate uh, geared shaft which is uh, fixed into the frame. This is the flywheel side of the chassis. The engine frame side of the chassis showing you the vertical engine frame and the slip eccentric uh, gear. The plain end plate of the chassis before the fitting of the red buffer plate and the center buffer coupling. The chassis end plates are fitted with red buffer plates which are screw fitted together with a center buffer coupling. The height of this is 23 millimeters above the rail height which is pretty close to the 16 millimeter association recommendation of 24 millimeters. The engine unit consists of a lubricator block which is mounted on one side of the engine frame. Uh, this has a oil filler plug and a drain plug and has the studs which hold the rest of the engine together onto the frame. This is mounted uh, with a gasket on one side of the engine frame. On the other side of the engine frame we have another gasket, uh, then the valve block and the valve rod. And on the outside of the valve block we have another gasket followed by the improved piston and cylinder assembly. Uh, this piston is the one fitted to the William II and the new mobile engines which has a o-ring gland and the whole uh, unit is uh, screwed in using uh, washers and nuts. So the heat source, a circular ceramic gas burner supplied with a vertical gas tank, uh, the nylon gas pipe with a heat shield. Mamad will supply a copper pipe if you request it. The ceramic gas burner fitted into the chassis with the boiler removed. So Mamad have listened to the comments following the issue of the pre-production model and the first batch They've now mounted the water sight glass tube offset so it's no longer sticking out. It's also fitted with a drain cock as well. And on the top of the boiler they've uh, mounted a second outlet uh, provided with a blanking plug to allow you to fit a water top up valve or a whistle. The top of the boiler has a steam take off and this is fitted with a screw regulator for fine speed adjustment. On the side of the boiler we have a banjo bolt fitting, a siphon tube and a 0 to 60 psi pressure gauge. The boiler is a center fluid a vertical boiler and it's also fitted with a reheat tube uh, which goes up through the flue. The boiler is held in place to the chassis by the use of a retaining ring which is screw fitted to the chassis. Like the rolling stock that is currently supplied by Mamod, the Brunel locomotive is fitted with dual gauge wheels. First you need to use an allen key to remove the cranks from the axles, then you can remove the brass bearings 
and then use a spanner to unscrew the nuts from the axles. Remove the nut from the axle, remove the spacer, remove the wheel, reach to 45 millimeters, put the spacer on the axle first, wheel, tighten up the nut, fit the brass bearing and then use the Allen key to fit the crank back onto the axle. The axles are held into what Mama would refer to as horseshoes by using uh, simple o-rings. And to give you an idea of size, here is a comparison of the Mamad Brunel vertical boiler locomotive. Alongside on the left we have the William II which uses the same cylinder assembly as the Brunel. And on the right here we have a prototype PPS de Winton.